Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Assetta Corsa. So if you guys were following me on Instagram, you guys know my Fanatec did break. One of the pins broke inside, but we fixed it and we're back on the wheel. So what better way to test the wheel than throw it through a shakedown with some tandems with some randoms here in Assetta Corsa. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. Alright, so I said we're going to do some tandems with some randoms. We're going to be taking a look at some servers and see if we can find some good servers to get into. We're taking a look at EVL, and there's a couple servers going on with my cars, but I don't have that Paradise track. So, let's take a look at Slide Boys. Oh, we do have a big Slide Boys Texas server going. Uh, let's jump into that. So let's go on the grid. I'll catch you guys once we're in grid. So it looks like we got a lot of people on grid going here right now. We're in the Slide Boys S14. We're going to go see if we can't give this wheel a shake down after being fixed. It does feel pretty good right now. So definitely excited to have it back. It did just replace one of the pins that were broken on the inside. Luckily, it didn't break inside the base, so I was able to replace it. Oh, okay, there's people, like, really hard on me. So let's uh, see if we can't get some people to chase us. Let's go. Quick flick to angle. Running that inner edge. Getting all the way out to that touch and go. Or outer zone and that touch and go. Moving on the inside. Kicking the third, little handbrake. Up against the wall. We got it. A little bit wider on exit than I wanted to be. But we were able to uh, manage a, a good solid run from the get-go. So the wheel seems to be working quite good. Let's see if we can't get a chase in here. Oh, a little bit lax of an entry by that chaser. Oh, he's a little bit off the zone, but we got it. Just dipping a toe in the dirt. Oh, he's going hard into the wall. <laughs> We're going to run that run out. That man went hard into the wall. So I guess we're going to do another chase run because, well, nobody seems to want to lead. So we're going to do another lead run. Gonna get that quick snap to angle. Feather off the gas a little bit, bring it on in. Get that whole inner clip right there. Fully out to the outer zone. Flick it out. A little bit shallow on touch and go. Good on that zone though. Deep in that zone. Keeping it in tight. Yeah, there we go. About the second hash on exit. We can probably get a lot deeper into that wall zone if we really, really tried. Definitely, uh, the flow of Texas is a fun track. Let's see if we can't get a chase. We are going to get a chase. It's a little bit sleepy at the line. So we've got some ground to make up. Can't really see much with the smoke. I thought we were going to smack into him, but we didn't. Oh, just a little door love at the end, but he kept in it. So if you guys watched the FD event this weekend, how do you guys feel about What do you guys think about the calls? Who won and everything going on? Did you like the layout and everything that they ran? My uh, favorite part was actually seeing Jeff Jones getting up in there into the final four and getting a chance to play for that pro carbon fiber trophy fortunately he was unable to get it jeff jones great guy there we go this 14 sticking on my door a little bit wider on exit than i wanted to be we're gonna stay in it hopefully we can get a chase on him this time and we're not gonna sleep at the light though we're not gonna sleep at the line get that little roll start there we go. Much better. 
Much closer on initiation. Oh, a waiver from him. Wow, we didn't get all the way out to that touch and go. Angled almost looped it through that final section. It's definitely oh, I'm getting bumped from behind. Definitely a fun time doing some tandems with randoms, of course. Okay, those guys, he did they just want to go send it. We're gonna try and actually uh, run lead and chase runs. Quick flick to angle, angle up, stride for those. Ah, oh, I was a little bit shallow on. That outer zone, huge angle though through that. Almost 90 degree lock through that, but we managed to hold it. Just dropping some dirt at the end of the run. So it was a suggestion to me on the channel to bring back random tandems, tandems with randoms here on the channel here in the set of courses. So that's what we're doing. Ooh, right on this man's door. In the outer zone, bring it out to touch and go. Bringing that back in the third. Ooh, just dipping a toe in the dirt. We're good. Managed to uh, pull that one out. So we're going to go for a hard flick into that wall on that final zone. See if we can't get close to maybe a wall tap. Without totally screwing up. It's a little way wider on that than I wanted to. Fill in that whole outer zone. Quick transition. Gonna hold this a little bit longer. There we go. Oh, there's the wall tap. <laughs> I said I wanted to wall tap it. <laughs> And there she is. There was the wall tap. Very deep. Ow. Jeez. Okay. Somebody just decided to go uh, careening through past us. EDC. Maybe he's part of like the, you know, Drift Championship. The Electronic Drift Championship. Or I'm not actually sure what EDC stands for. Managed to stay in this man's door though. E. Burn. Burn. Burnett? E. Burnett? Okay, E. Burnett. Alright. Throwing it down here. Ooh, killer. Hard flick in. Bring it back in to the inner clip. All the way out in the outer zone. There we go. how we managed to clutch in that and stay in there but we managed to clutch it out and managed to keep in angle and not totally biff it try to get a really close nose tail initiation whoa e46 on my door Kind of, kind of tapped in there. Unfortunately, I don't have my spawn to pit button because I did rework the button, so I need to change some you know, calibration of my buttons and stuff. But I think for first test of the wheel after it being fixed, it's uh, oh man, quite good. We got an S14 following us now. Definitely love this Sly Boys 14. Other than my cars, probably some of my favorite dial cars to run are these Sly Boy cars. So, it's uh. 
try and get another run. One more run to end this episode off. We're gonna have to cut this one short. that hard in there so i think that'll do it here for this episode random tandems shaking down the wheel make sure everything is good and kosher so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all of which you found in the description box below i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track